If you're anything like me, fragrance is a crucial part of your life. And you want to make sure people know you smell good no matter what talking 8 in the morning or 8 at night. So, I set out to find the longest lasting fragrances on the internet and the word is these fragrances last over 24 hours. And I'm going to tell you all about them starting with Amwage Reflection Man 45 Extract. Not only does this fragrance last forever, but it also smells amazing. This fragrance is like wearing a fancy suit. It smells fresh with flowers, it's also some spice, and then it has this woody finish. If you're going to a special event or you just want to impress someone, then this fragrance is going to be an excellent choice. It's perfect for the guy that wants to smell classy, but also wants to make a great first impression. I know a guy that wears this as his signature scent and anytime we're out and about, he's always getting compliments. So Reflection Man 45 should definitely be one you're looking into. Next up from the master of seduction himself, we have Tom Ford Noir Extreme, but this one is the Parfum version. It smells amazing. This one is super bold. It comes off as a sweet treat, but it also has a bit of spice. And when I say a bit of spice, I mean a lot. On first spray of this fragrance, you get this delicious yum yum in my tummy spice, but it also then switches over to a hint of vanilla. Now, what I think a lot of people appreciate about this fragrance is despite the sweet nature of this one, it is, in my opinion, undeniably masculine. And when you are a man man out here trying to smell amazing, do you want something that will resonate with the ladies, but also let the guys know that you are the alpha male? Now, if you're familiar with the original version of Noir Extreme, then you'll have a good understanding of what this fragrance is all about. However, there's one thing to consider with this one is that this one's a bit more complex. In addition to this fragrance lasting forever, it's a great fragrance for date night or office parties. And in my opinion, this is a fragrance that you should wear if you wanna stand out and capture someone's attention. Next, let's check out Dior Sauvage Elixir. This fragrance takes the iconic Sauvage DNA and cranks it up a notch by throwing away everything you thought you know about that fragrance DNA. And personally, I think it was a bold move, but it was one that panned out. With its mix of grapefruit and lavender, you get a well-balanced fragrance that is versatile and good for almost any occasion. That said, I still think that this one is a bit more mature than all of the other Sauvage fragrances that have come before it and even the one that's come after it. As you might expect from a fragrance with Sauvage in its name, it should be incredibly versatile and this flanker does live up to that expectation. So no matter if you're at the office or spending a night out on town, this one is going to make you smell fantastic. If you love adventure and want to feel confident, then this could be the one for you. Next, we gotta dive into something a little bit more intense, and that brings us to Macera's Red Tobacco. Now, as always, I gotta keep it 100 done with y'all, and I have a love-hate relationship with this fragrance. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it, but one thing I can't hate about this fragrance is its performance. When I think of red tobacco, to me, this fragrance is really all about boldness. You get this spicy tobacco, there's also this woody nature that comes along with this fragrance. And when you combine those two together, you get this unforgettable scent profile. But when I hate this fragrance, it's a little too harsh, it's a little too mature, and it's slightly offensive. At any rate, it opens up warm and rich, making it ideal for evenings, especially in the colder weather. If you're thinking about picking this one up, you gotta be the kind of guy that's not afraid to make a statement, because once you do, you rock this one, everyone's gonna know that you're there. So far, we've explored some heavy hitters, so let me know down in the comments if any have caught your attention or if we're even on the right track. Moving on to a fan favorite fragrance house, we have Paco Rabanne One Million Golden Oud. This fragrance combines the sweetness of the original Paco Rabanne One Million along with this luxurious take on Oud, which is really like a mix and a mesh of two different worlds. Immediately on first spray, you get a whiff of that familiar One Million DNA. As the fragrance continues to develop, you get that patchouli and you get that sandalwood. And then as you get into the base of this fragrance, you get a lot of that wood and that oud that's in this fragrance immediately comes in and becomes the star of the show. I would say that this one is a showstopper and a sleeper fragrance for those occasions when you want to turn heads because this one isn't readily available at all stores, but once you get your hands on it, you're going to be levels above everyone else. 
If you're someone that likes that extra touch of elegance and extravagance within the fragrance, and this one should be in your fragrance rotation. And don't let the name Golden Oud fool you because although this fragrance does have Oud in its name, based on its price point, it's likely not a true Oud. However, you are getting that sweetness from the original. You're getting a lot of woods, a lot of spice, and then in the base of this fragrance, you get this undertone of this Oud-like feel, and it comes off as really good. It's not pungent and super wearable. Next is Armani Strong With You Intensely, and let me tell you, this one is only for the certified lover boys. It features notes of vanilla and cinnamon, creating this cozy, inviting vibe, making it perfect for date night or for those close encounter, intimate occasions when you wanna make a long lasting impression. If you're that certified lover boy, AKA the romantic, and you wanna evoke feelings of emotion and warmth, then this fragrance could be calling your name, and she might be too. <laughs> When I think of Strong With You intensely, I think of something warm and sweet, almost like cookies baking. Now, don't get me wrong, this smells nothing like cookies baking, but follow me. It has notes of vanilla and spice, making it a perfect fragrance for those times you wanna put a smile on somebody's face. Take it for a test drive if you're a romantic at heart and love to make people feel special because wearing this one will make a lot of people feel special, especially when you're going for the warm embrace. Look, we're more than halfway through this list and we still got some bangers to go through, so let's keep the party going. Next, we're talking about another fragrance from the master of seduction himself, Tom Forty Ford, and this one is Ebon Fume. Now, if you're familiar with the Tom Ford fragrance library, so to speak, then you know that Ebon Fume is not the only fragrance within this library that has the same sort of scent profile. I also think that Mer Mystery is another fragrance that has that, that same type of vibe, but it's an overdose of vanilla in there as well. However, I think that Evan Fume slightly edges that one out. Personally, I picked this one up after I got a phone call from my guy Kevin Samuels when he was ranting and raving about how good this fragrance is and I immediately purchased the bottle. Once that bottle came in, the missus wanted the bottle for herself. So that just tells you how good this fragrance is. Plus, it wouldn't be on this list if it didn't last forever. Personally, I think it was a great recommendation from the Godfather of Style, and if you are a guy who likes that avant-garde type of vibe, then this is a fragrance that you need to be looking into like ASAP. We're down to the final three fragrances, and I guarantee it, I guarantee that you can't guess the final fragrance on our list today. Go ahead, comment down below and lock your answer in. You're not gonna get it. Now that your answer is locked in, we're moving on to Initio's Oud for Greatness. Now, Oud for Greatness is this masterful blend that really just showcases the luxury and elegance of the note of Oud. It's rich, yet it's refined, and then it also has this delicate blend of Oud. You have some spices and some florals here to really create what I consider to be a masterpiece fragrance. Oud for Greatness is a deep, intense scent profile that features natural oud. You got argon oil oud in here. You also have saffron, you have lavender, you have patchouli and musk in here as well to make a fragrance that's incredibly good. Now, a lot of time when you think of oud fragrances, you think of something pungent, you think of something uh, maybe a little darker. This fragrance does have a dark play to it. However, it's not a pungent fragrance. It's not an in-your-face fragrance. It really just takes the note of oud, and again, a natural oud, and just shows you how smooth and elegant that note could be. They did a masterful job on this one. I wear oud for greatness when I want to feel my greatest. In fact, I wear this fragrance when I want to feel elegant and when I want to feel refined. This one does all the talking for me. Oud for Greatness is best for the distinguished man out there who values quality and elegance and wants his fragrance to be a reflection of his stature. You know when Kanye West said no one man should have all that power? I think this is what he's talking about. This fragrance embodies sophistication, elegance, and a ton of power. Wear this one to command the room. Oud for Greatness. You might have expected this fragrance here. This was Dior Homme. Parfum, which is a refined, elegant fragrance that blends the notes of leather, iris, and wood for a classic yet modern scent profile. 
I think it's safe to say that this is one of the most sought after Dior own flankers out there. On first spray of this fragrance, you're gonna get something that's velvety smooth. I mean, the fragrance had a texture, that's how I would describe it. And along with that, it invokes a sense of luxury and sophistication, making it ideal for formal occasions. This fragrance is perfect for day or night, ensuring sophistication without compromising quality. This is yet again another fragrance that's good for the sophisticated gentleman out there that really appreciates the quality and craftsmanship within a fragrance. This one here shows you really what a fragrance can be all about. If you haven't experienced niche fragrances, I think that this is a gateway to it and one that you're really gonna enjoy. And I know this is not a niche fragrance. I would say that this is the fragrance you not only wear when you want it to last, but another one that you wear when you want to just show that you have impeccable taste and style. And we've made it to our final fragrance on the list today. The one that I said you wouldn't be able to guess. Did you guess it? I don't think so. From the House of Savoir Faire, we have Soul Cafe. From its name, you might think that Soul Cafe is a easy going fragrance that just captures the essence of a little cozy quaint coffee shop and that couldn't be further from the truth. Soul Cafe was made to open you up to your most ultimate desires, increasing your urge for intimacy after every sniff. Featuring tobacco, oud, Arabian coffee, blood orange, and musk, Soul Cafe has a strong opening. But it fades into a dry down that's complex and it takes the wearer on an unexpected journey. It has a unique character and in my times of wearing this fragrance, it almost has like this guaranteed compliment button about it. Remember like the staples, that was an easy button? It should be like, that's a compliment button. That's a compliment button. That's a compliment button. I see Soul Cafe as a fragrance that's ideal for the laid back man out there that enjoys the simple pleasures of life and wants a fragrance that resonates with comfort. To me, you should wear this fragrance when you wanna feel relaxed and approachable. Fellas, you still looking for more? Then click here to see 10 designer fragrances that last all day.